Peter Reed Miller from On Sports Photography with Peter Reed Miller. Today, I'm privileged to have Steve Fine, my good friend and former boss, former director of photography at Sports Illustrated, and currently photo editor at Flipboard. Today, we're going to critique some pictures that you have sent in for us to look at. Steve and I have been doing this for a long time. We critique uh, all the students' work at my workshops, and we talk a lot about what makes a good picture. So let's start with the first one right now. And I think we really have a pretty good picture here. Yeah, this is a good way to start. Um, my eye initially went to the ball, which looked like it was plastered on the ground, not moving. But I do realize now that it is up it's in the, the air, air. Yeah, and which is which is kind of nice. There's good expression. I like the kids' fingers on the. Uh, uh, on the left here. Um, I don't love the fact that his eyes are closed yeah. here, but it's cropped well. There's very little negative space. The background is nice and clean. I'd give this, uh, you know, <laughs> yeah. I'd give this a check. <laughs> uh, a couple of things. Th this guy bothers me a lot because he's not even running. Um, and uh, we've got a little of the... Yeah, uh, the thalidomide uh, yeah, the cutoff leg. Yeah, the amputee kind of thing. Yeah. But um, he's got shallow depths of field. Uh, he used a high shutter speed. He used a 8,000. Um, and he wasn't afraid to take a high ISO out, so outdoors. So uh, all in all, uh, a nice, nice image. Pretty good start. Yeah. Okay. Let's see what the next one is. Uh, Gymnastics is always, backgrounds are always a challenge in gymnastics, and, and here again we have very kind of distracting background, but shallow depth of field, uh, she really pops out. My problem is this leg. It should be straight. Yeah. Um, a long time ago, the great Heinz Klutmeier at Sports Illustrated explained to me that gymnasts have to have a certain form, certain yeah. ballet, a certain look for the picture to right. be right and also for the coach for, not to be yelling at the athlete. Yeah, for them to get points. Yeah, um, and, and this picture has got a fundamental mistake in it, um, and that leg should be straight. I'm just going to suggest a better or a different crop where we... Well, I want to see how hard she is off the bar, uh, well, even though that's not her bar. It gives me a better idea of how high she got off the ground. Okay. Um, but I'm, her face is good, her fingers are good. That it's bent, sharp. That bent leg is just... I, yeah. I, this is a reject for me. Okay. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. That's obviously... Uh, in the tunnel, looks like as the players are coming down, looks like uh, it's the Saints, it's the yeah. Saints, yeah, yeah. And the light is perfect. I mean, I wish the mouth guard weren't yeah. there. On the other hand, because it looks like he's chewing on something. Yeah. But on the other hand, it caught the light in a nice way. I think it's well composed. I think it's uh, framed well. Uh, this is a keeper. Yeah. A couple more thoughts on this picture. Uh, you know. There's a lot more to a game, any sport, sporting event, than what happens between when they kick off and when the referee shoots the gun or whenever. I mean, there's stuff going on all around. I usually get to a game at least two hours early. Uh, this is a very good moment. Uh, it's the team coming down. It kind of sets up the anticipation of the game. And it's important to look for that stuff. Uh, one of my first projects when I worked at, at, uh, for NFL was a book called A Game of Passion. And for a whole season, I shot nothing on the field. I shot everything off the field, and it was great. It really taught me to look beyond the action, look around and find these kind of pictures, which are really uh, very special. Uh, the great portrait photographer, um, Howard Schatz, uh, got into shooting boxing, uh, both for me when I was at Sports Illustrated, and also he was doing a book on boxing. And he asked me, because I got him some ringside um, seats at, um, at the garden, he said, you know, besides the corner and besides, you know, uh, the action in the ring, what should I be looking for? I said, well, the first thing you ought to do is when they, when the boxers come down the alley. And okay, they play I said, the eye of the tiger. Right. Okay, I said, 
turn away from the ring and yes. shoot them, coming at, them coming at you because they've got this entourage, the lights are on them. Boom, boom. And, you know, and sure enough, yeah. at his first ever boxing assignment for me, the picture we ran was one of the Chavez um, boxers coming through, the garden going crazy, and he said, yeah. I never would have thought to think of doing that unless you had said something about it. That's the moment. Much like, much like Walter Yost, who said a long time ago, um, his favorite part of a baseball game was batting practice, yeah. okay? Because you had access, you could get and see things, you could be on the field, you could shoot stuff that you couldn't shoot during a game. So I agree, a lot of what happens at a sporting event that will, that will help tell the story, because fundamentally, what are you trying to do here? You're trying to tell a story. Photographers as storytellers, okay? And a lot of what goes on pregame is important in terms of the preparation and it can make for really, really compelling pictures. Yeah, yeah, totally, totally. Uh, golf. Yeah. Um, the funny thing about golf is um, the guys who win the tournament never end up in the hazards. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you end up with a lot of boring pictures of guys on the fairway <laughs> chipping in, right? Yeah. So this is quite nice. I mean, good face, good sand, good ball, um, good background, and just enough of the grass in the foreground. I like this. Yeah, I do too. And I, I think one thing that's nice is it looks like he's kept the focus on the golfer despite all this distracting sand, which could have caught the autofocus. I would probably like to take out a little bit more of the background. Uh, Steve, what do you say about sports photos and cropping? No sports picture cannot be improved by cropping. So there you go, a little tighter. Yeah, this is a lot of wasted space. All that black area, you don't need that. I know, I didn't mind the grass on the bottom though. It gave it a little more color. Um, yeah, all right. like that. I didn't want all this water back here though. Okay, that's fine. But yeah, this is a, nice, this is a pretty nice shot. Oy. There's a lot wrong here. First yeah. of all, she's got something growing out of her right head, out of her head yeah. which just drives me crazy. Yeah. She has no expression whatsoever. It doesn't appear to be tack sharp either. Um, it's pretty sharp. Okay. I mean, uh, it's a little bit back focused, yeah, I think, on the yeah. on the back of the yeah. hat, on the yeah. on the bill of the hat there. But uh, the thing growing out of her head is just no. That's just you can't have stuff growing out of people's heads. No. Bill Epperidge taught me that a million years ago, and it's just I live by that. That's true. Okay, skiing pictures. Yes, getting them going through the gate is very important. There should be more full open action is what they call it, where the skis are a little bit off the snow and you're getting a little bit more um, uh, snowflakes or ice coming up off that. It, this is pretty good. Uh, I like the angle of the gate, I like his face. Uh, this just needs a little more action off the skis. And they, they cut off the pole. That's not a crisis because otherwise the thing would be too loose, I think. All right, that's not, think, that's not a problem. I think this crop really makes it stronger. There is nothing over here. Yep, that's and true. now he's in the center of the picture and your eye goes boom, right to him. Whereas before, a guy kind of wanders. You, you, your eye goes to the brightest thing in the picture. So there's a whole lot of white that you're wandering around and not seeing him. But if you, go, if you crop it tighter, you got less white, more skier, better Good. picture. I agree. Skiing pictures. I'm a little bit of an expert on this because I have been to 15 Olympics and a lot of them in some really seriously cold weather. I have tremendous respect for skiing photographers. They get up at 6 o'clock in the morning days in advance, okay? They go and actually ski the course, okay? And these courses, you know, they're not on snow. This has been watered down and iced Ice, over, yeah. okay? And the difference between winning and losing is, you know, fractions of a second, thousands of a second, okay? So two things that you should be looking for when, you, when you're doing skiing. Um, find the place where they can fall because it makes unbelievable pictures. Oh, yeah, yeah. Carl Yarbrough in, in Nagano in 1998 made that phenomenal picture of the Herminator going upside down, almost clobbered him. Okay, he was standing outside a snow fence in an area where there, was no, where there were no other photographers. He had a ladder, didn't he? He had a ladder. He hauled a ladder up the up, mountain. Up the mountain, okay. And here comes the Herminator, boom. The other thing is blue sky. Yeah. Now, you're gonna get what you're gonna get. I mean, it's a winter sport. Some days it's snowing, some days it's cloudy. But if you can get a blue sky, and then the part of the picture should, where the skiers are coming through, if they can have a dark background, man, the snow pops and yeah. it is so beautiful. But you've got to get them up in the air, you've got to find a jump, you've got to find a little bit of a bump somewhere where there's more stuff 
going on, yeah. okay? And this picture is fine, they got the gate, et cetera, et cetera, and not everything is a downhill where you're flying through the air, but that's what's gonna make a better skiing picture. Yeah, I, I agree on everything. I don't do a lot of skiing, but uh, you know, that your last point, he does seem very um, compressed. He just doesn't, you know, he's, he's all on, bunched up. He's on the slope. He's, he's like, you know, pinned to the ground there. There's yeah. not enough. In fact, the only good thing about this picture really is the gate. Yeah. Which, A, he picked the red gate, perfect, yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, but there's just not enough happening here, and those skis have to be, he has to be in the air, the skis have to be, one leg should be up yeah. like this or oh, something, yeah, those, his those arms gotta be moving, and then you go, wow, okay? At the end of the day, what are we trying to do here? We're trying to get people to stop turning pages stop if it were a magazine, page, or yeah. stop flipping on their phone and, yeah. and take a look at like, ooh and ah, how did, this, how did he make this picture? Yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, Danica. Yeah, Danica. Well, it helps, it helps to photograph good-looking people. Yes. Um, this is fine. Her expression is good. The lighting is good. Um, Looks like there was a little bit of work, of a little over softening of the skin, but she's very pretty, so. Yeah, and the colors work. I mean, you got a little bit of a hint of red goes with the, uh, the green, uh, you know, fire suit. Um, I like this picture. Yeah, she's got a nice smile, Yeah, too. All right, the um, key thing if you're gonna do a, a pan is something in the frame has to be sharp. Now, the good news is the helmet and the face are sharp. The bad news is it appears his eyes are closed, <laughs> which is just like bad luck. Um, so he fulfilled, he fulfilled most, oh, that eye no. is open, that eye yeah. is open, yeah. okay. So well, um, then I would give this a, uh, you know, a high mark because you've got to have something in focus in the pan, yeah. otherwise it's just a, a muzzy mess. Yeah, I, I like it too. Um, it's hard. Pans work best on uh, things that are kind of smooth, like, like horses running or cars. People running, they're moving in a lot of different directions. So this was, this was a good job of capturing the face. Uh, I would, I'm not gonna go through and crop every picture, but I'd probably Yeah, you could it. probably lose a little something yeah. off the left yeah. side, but yeah. this, this is, the, again, the hard part of the picture was uh, accomplished. Yeah, yeah. Hey, as we said about this picture, um, pans are hard, okay? Yes, they are. And the best pans normally have a neutral background either one color or three colors, so you get kind of that nice little, you know, tricolor pattern going on. But when you have a lot of junk in the background and you got white uniforms bunched up with white uniforms, yeah. it's yeah. a little hard to get some definition. Yeah, I, I think the thing about a pan is um, when someone's running, uh, the best pans are cars, horses, anything that's moving in one, you know, only on one plane. In other words, going side to side. When you run, you go up and down and side to side. So it's tough. He did get the face here. And I noticed he shot at a 40th, which is, um, you know, uh, that's pretty good. He took his ISO down instead of uh, taking his, his aperture down. So he still has a pretty shallow depth of the field. Uh, but I think it's, it's something that, you know, it's just very tough. Uh, I think it, would also, it also looks like the photographer was standing. Uh, whereas he could have been kneeling, which would have just added a little bit more to this picture, and I think that's something that, a point to make about any kind of sports photography is everybody looks better the lower the camera is, uh, especially if you're shooting youth sports, kids, you know, you know, they're looking down a lot. To be down as low as you can get always is, is the best way, and in football, the players look more heroic. So that would have helped this picture, even if it was just, um, you know, a frozen action picture. But uh, in terms of the pan, it's it's a really good effort. Uh, there are just some points to keep in mind when, when you're shooting pans. Yeah, this this doesn't bother me so much, but I, I this, this leg, I mean, these funky shoes that the guy is wearing yeah, yeah. was a little bit of a distraction, and it took me, you know, a fraction of a second to realize that that was actually his leg and not somebody else in the right, background. Right, it doesn't attach. So, so it well. didn't actually, he didn't get that classic runner's pose that you're looking for. Yeah. There's a ballet to shooting um, football pictures, and there's a certain kind of way that they pump their legs and they're off the ground, okay, that has a look, and this is close, but it, yeah. there's just a tiny little bit of kind of confusion. Re remember, what you're trying to do here is not mislead the reader um, into thinking, well, I think this is going on. You're not trying to confuse the reader. No, okay? no, no, you, you want, want to nice, simplify it. Right, you want to, here's my message, here's yeah. what I'm trying to convey in this picture. Why did I get up this morning? This is what I was trying to do, okay? This is close, it's just, 
it's not good enough for leading off. It's right, not an right, A-plus right, picture right. yet. But it's a good effort. Oh, that's nice. That's a very nice, a very nice catch. Yeah. Nice catch. Again, I would maybe crop it a little bit. You don't need all of that sky. Yeah. You don't need these two guys here on the left. I like the guy. Uh, uh, give me a little more of the goalpost. Okay. Yeah. That works. That works. But I, you That's know. good. You want to get the reader's eye to the action quicker. Yes. Okay. Yes. Unless you have a perfectly balanced geometric pattern that you would get maybe at a baseball stadium, you know, mm -hmm. the diamond shape or what have you. So you just want to get to the picture within the picture faster. Exactly. And I mean, you could really, if you, I think if you really want to. <sighs> I would, no, 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 no. Right. no. I want to see, I want to see the, uh, you know, the okay, stadium the a little bit. Yeah, I mean, it's Notre Dame. It's got, you know, it's got uh, the history. I mean, I wish Touchdown Jesus were in the back there, but they <laughs> built up the stands. And yeah, stuff. they really have. But I like the bowl effect, and also it's one of those stadiums like the Rose Bowl where the stands come down to the right. floor, so it fills in right. nicely as opposed to those modern stadiums like Jerry Jones and MetLife. Where Life everybody's and, up and... In his yeah. luxury boxes, and it's yeah. a mess and what have you. This is this is a very nice picture, good peak action, um, the ball, the face, the leg. Yeah, oh, yeah. I mean, nice, good, nice. Good shot. Oh, that's pretty cool. Um, the eyes are great. I need a ball. Yeah. I need the rest of that arm and the ball. Or, yeah, because that finger is just kind of out there yeah, a little bit, yeah, you know? Yeah, it's right down there. But those eyes are... <laughs> eyes are great. Yeah. I like the glove and the hand, but you're right. It just And pictures, I mean, it's just a millisecond, and that ball would be there yeah. or it wouldn't be... Um, but uh, good in terms of, again, nailing the focus on the eyes, not, not having your focus go to the glove. Um, that's a nice, nice shot. Yeah, nice shot. yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, not enough face in the guy catching the ball. Um, it's okay. Strangely static yeah. for a moment for a, a leaping catch. Yeah. And, and the not having the face, you do have a little, you, I like this guy's face though. That's a good re react face. Yeah. Oh, this one doesn't zoom, but. I mean, I, I understand the nature of either high school or, you know, small college football. You're going to have black backgrounds, which kind of, you know, hurts the picture a little bit. Um, but not having the face in the helmet, uh, I, as you pointed out, your eyes go to the eyes. Right. Okay. Right. And if there's no eyes, then my. Then you could kind of wander. Yeah. 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 Uh, is there like it's mist? <laughs> yeah, yeah. What's going? I mean, it's raining. I know, but he's yeah, not. Yeah, he looks. She looks yeah, not he looks sharp. Like he had a, a, or that there's some kind of glow that's been put on the picture. It's hurting my eyes looking at this picture. <laughs> and the focus is really back on yeah, his no, hair. I, no, yeah, no, out, out. Yeah, no, this is not working. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that that's a good. Uh, that's good. You he's know. got enough. He's got enough foot but, yeah. over here, so it doesn't look like you know he's, it's cut off at the knee. This guy is good. That guy's really good. Yeah. I might cut it off over here. Yeah. Um, get rid of some of the junk on the right a little bit. Yeah. Um, good. But good eyes on the ball carrier. Yeah, like right there, like right there. Now yeah. he's now he's, he's centered, centered and mm -hmm. boom. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Agreed. Okay, well, that's going to do it for this session. We're going to do more. Uh, we have more pictures, and we'll do them in a future video. Thanks a lot, and uh, good shooting.